Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to measure your blog post's web traffic using Google Analytics. This quick tip will help you determine which types of content are performing well and it can help you develop a content strategy that meets the needs of your readers and grows your audience at the same time. Now, why is knowing a blog post's traffic important? Well, for starters, it helps you focus your efforts. You could be publishing 10 blog posts a week, but if no one is reading them, then why waste your time? And this isn't to say that you should give up. This is quite the opposite. This video is to help you better utilize your time, resources, and assets by using Google Analytics to measure a blog post's traffic and focus your effort on what's working. By understanding this type of traffic, you're going to gain some major insight on what content is popular with your audience. Plus, it can assist you in the decision-making process whenever it comes to deciding on the overall direction of your blog's content strategy. Now, I should mention that we're going to be using the Google Analytics demo account throughout this video. This is an amazing new feature that allows you to get your feet wet with Google Analytics and it can give you some real-world experience on how to use and interpret the data. If you're interested in playing around with it, I'm going to put a link to the demo account below this video. Now, if you're new to the idea of analytics or if analytics intimidate you, that's totally fine. Not everyone starts blogging with the idea that they're going to become some all-knowing and all-powerful analytics guru. But as your blog starts to gain momentum, it's extremely important that you become somewhat familiar with the Google Analytics platform. Now for this tutorial, we're going to pretend that you review different types of products on your blog. So let's say you write one post about electronics and another post about leather notebooks. I know it's kind of weird, but just bear with me. Now you can use Google Analytics to measure which one of these blog posts outperformed the other by analyzing the traffic that went through each one of these blog posts. Now this is a very powerful tool that has a ton of technical features, but if you're just starting out, I recommend that you start small and only measure one or two things so that you can get comfortable with the interface. So let's start by measuring the traffic to these two blog posts. All right, so once you've signed in to your Google Analytics account, you'll wanna access the reporting dashboard. Now by default, it starts you out with the audience overview. And you do have the option of customizing your dashboard, but that's for another tutorial. What we wanna view is the traffic, AKA page views for a specific blog post. So if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see multiple selections that you can access. They all offer extremely insightful analytics, but for this tutorial, we wanna view the behavior of our visitors. So towards the bottom of the screen, click on behavior. Next, the drop-down menu will appear, and you'll have a few other options. Now, since you're gonna be viewing the data from your blog, go ahead and click on site content. Next, you'll see another drop-down menu, and go ahead and click on all pages so that we can see an overview of all the traffic to each page on our blog. All right, so as you can see, Google presents the data report on the right-hand side of the screen, and it lists a handful of different dimensions, like page views, unique page views, average time on page, etc. But we're gonna be focusing on page views. And as you can see, they're listed first, and they're one of the key metrics that can help determine whether or not a blog post is successful. Next, let's filter the results so that we can drill down and view the amount of page views for a specific blog post. That way we can compare the page views between the electronics blog posts and the leather notebook blog posts. This is an effective strategy, but it does depend on how you structure your URLs. For this tutorial, we're assuming that your URL structure uses keywords from the post title and the permalink. And since the two blog posts we're comparing are about electronics and notebooks, we're gonna assume that those keywords are in the URL structure. Now, I should point out that some URL structures are different. For example, some blogs always include the word blog within their URL structure, like GitHub. As you can see, all their blog posts include the word blog in the URL. So in that case, you could filter the results by typing in the word blog. But again, for this example, we're using the Google Analytics demo account, so we're just gonna focus on filtering by keywords within the post title. So in order to do that, towards the top of the report, there's a search bar. And again, this allows you to filter the results by keywords within the URL. Now, since the two posts we wanna compare are about electronics and notebooks, you'll enter those two keywords in the search bar. Now, be sure to search one keyword at a time. So first, let's type in the keyword electronics. And as you can see, Google Analytics displays a variety of dimensions, but we're gonna be focusing on the page views. This metric is important because it shows us the total number of how many times a visitor has viewed a page, or in this case, a post. So we're assuming that this URL structure is using keywords. And as you can see, the top URL that includes electronics has a little over 12,000 page views. That's not bad at all. Now I should mention that we are reporting on page views per month. If you look towards the top of the screen, you can see the date range. Now you can adjust it as you see fit, but a monthly report on page views is a pretty informative data point. 
All right, so back to the report. Now, 12,000 page views per month is quite a bit of traffic, but before we make any decisions, we need to see how it compares to the blog posts about notebooks. So again, in the search bar, we'll type in the keyword notebooks. And as you can see, the page views for this type of post is much, much lower just a little over 200 page views. This is a huge difference in the traffic between the blog posts and a key indicator that the audience prefers content about electronics. Now, there is one more cool reporting feature that I wanna show you. So towards the left-hand side of the report, there will be a drop-down menu that says Secondary Dimension. And if you click on it, this allows you to add different dimensions to the report. And depending on what type of data you wanna pull, you'll see that you have a lot of different options. For example, if we click on time, you'll see that you can choose from the multiple scenarios to report on, like the hour of the day. This is awesome, and this can show you the time of day that people typically consume your content, and it can give you a huge advantage of knowing when to post your content online. Think about it, by using Google Analytics, you're able to see what type of posts your audience like and when they like to read it. I mean, it, it doesn't get any easier than that, and you're gonna find that knowing this information is gonna help your blog's content strategy immensely. Additionally, this could equal dollar signs as well. More traffic equals more eyeballs on your blog, and this could lead to an increase in email subscriptions, affiliate click-throughs, and product purchases if you're selling a product on your blog. So in conclusion, Google Analytics is an extremely powerful tool. Keep in mind that there are other data points that could indicate whether or not a blog post is performing well, but I recommend that you start with one metric, the blog traffic. And once you get comfortable with using this data, you should definitely start diving into some more diverse analytics like time of day, social source referral, things like that, and the secondary dimensions. So finally, having this type of information is crucial to your overall content strategy because it gives you detailed insight on what type of content your audience prefers and when they like to consume it. And once you've figured out the types of blog posts that perform well, focus your efforts on creating content around that topic and good things will happen. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.